on to the next item then. Who among us doesn't fantasize about finding a treasure of gold coins? Divers in the ancient port of, port of Caesarea discovered the largest hoard of gold coins ever found off the Israeli coast and alerted the Antiquities Authority. Abiyaz Ariel Sullivan got a chance to see the priceless hoard and filed this report. Deep in the vaults of the Antiquities Authority is a room of treasures, but none more priceless than this hoard of gold coins minted about a thousand years ago and buried at sea off the coast of Caesarea. Civilian divers spotted a few shiny coins and alerted the Antiquities Authority, who performed a quick sweep, netting over 2,000 coins. They were brought here where Dr. Robert Cook, the curator of the coin department, examined each one. I've been working here for 23 years and I've never ever seen a thing like this. This is the largest gold hoard we have found so far. And um, I've been asking around people that have been longer in the field than me. And as far as I know, this is really the largest hoard ever found here. Now, why is that? Because people were honest? Yes. Yes. There's, I mean, the guys who found this hoard, the, the divers, I think, you know, they're real good citizens. I mean, it's fantastic that people, you know, this is how we should behave, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, we don't have an antiquities law like in England where, where you get part of the treasure. I mean, everything that's in the ground is part, is this, is part of the state of Israel and that's it. I mean, you don't get any, any refund or any percentage. And I think it's fantastic because this is like, it's, it's, it's a real treasure, not only a treasure in terms of money, it's a scientific treasure. It's a cultural treasure and it belongs to the state of Israel and for everybody to see and, and to behold. The earliest coins were minted in Sicily in the 9th century and the latest was from 1036, all from the wealthy Fatimid period. Archaeologists believe the treasure was likely taxes destined for Cairo. How much is it worth? It's priceless. It's priceless. I mean, you can give it, you can give it a, you can give it a, a price in economic terms, probably. You know, it, you know, you can calculate the gold in terms of the gold price, but as far as we're concerned, it's priceless. Mm -hmm. Once the Antiquities Authority has made sure that the entire hoard has been recovered and the coins examined, they plan to display it. Gold is a different way. It's a different story. People relate differently to to gold. I don't know what it is. I mean, uh, people are people are obsessed by gold. It's certainly more shiny. <laughs> it's, for sure it is. Ari O'Sullivan for IBA News. Okay, we have Dr. Wolfson now on the